Hello, my name is James Bazan. I'm a Canadian Member of Parliament and the Conservative critic for National Defence. I'd like to greet all who are attending the Free Iran Conference in Paris this year. I'd also like to thank everyone for their support of the NCRI and the work they do on behalf of all Iranians. It is well known that President Rouhani and the Iranian regime are committing abhorrent human rights violations on a daily basis, often to the detriment of the most vulnerable populations of the country. Individuals attempting to live their lives in peace are denied the most basic human rights by corrupt officials in an attempt to keep power in Iran. Security officials continue to clamp down on free speech and dissent, and revolutionary courts are handing down harsh sentences against social media users, including death sentences. Iranian authorities continue to imprison do dozens of activists and human rights defenders on account of their peaceful or professional activities. Unfortunately, Iran continues to be a world leader in the practice of limiting free speech and expression. Iran continues to respect freedom of religion to those who do not follow strict Islamic faith, and religious minorities continue to face persecution throughout the country. This is a critical time in Iran's history. The government of Canada is going to be taking action to hold these corrupt Iranian officials accountable. Canada's foreign minister has indicated she'll be supporting our Conservative opposition's legislation, Bill S-226, the Justice for Victims of Corrupt Foreign Officials Act, also known as the Sergei Meninsky Law. This bill is part of a global effort to place economic sanctions on corrupt officials who use their power to abuse human rights. I regularly participate in Iran Accountability Week on Parliament Hill. This multi-partisan week highlights the human rights abuses in Iran, its nuclear ambitions, and its continued sponsorship of terrorism around the world. Once again, I thank you for your support for a free and democratic Iran where human rights for all can finally be respected. And you can count on my support to make a free Iran a reality.